My name is Dr. Andrew Schneider. I'm a board certified general surgeon with Prisma Health. I practice at Upstate Surgical Associates in Seneca, South Carolina. Part of my practice involves screening and preventing colorectal cancer, but part of it also involves treating patients that have been diagnosed with colorectal cancer, and that usually involves surgery. Since it's Colorectal Cancer Awareness Month, I've been asked to talk about robotic surgery and how we can use robotic surgery as a tool to treat colorectal cancer. I'd like to talk about what robotic surgery is, some advantages of robotic surgery, and also dispel a few myths about robotic surgery. Treatment of colorectal cancer generally involves surgery, and surgery involves removing the portion of the colon containing the cancer and the associated lymph nodes. Traditionally, this was done via an open approach. We would make a midline incision, enter the abdomen, and remove the cancer. Many surgeons have transitioned to performing this laparoscopically. With laparoscopic surgery, we operate in a minimally invasive fashion through very tiny incisions. Usually these incisions are less than a half of an inch. Through those incisions, we place small tubes, which we call trocars or ports. And then we work through these tubes using small, long instruments and a camera to accomplish the surgery. In order to have room in the abdomen to do the surgery, we insufflate the abdomen with CO2. Robotic surgery is laparoscopic surgery in the sense that we are working through small tubes or ports through very small incisions using a camera. But instead of controlling the instruments at the bedside with my own hands, the instruments and the camera are controlled by being mounted to a robot. And the robot is then controlled by the surgeon at a surgeon console. There are several advantages to laparoscopic surgery. The biggest advantage is the instruments. In traditional laparoscopic surgery, the instruments may open, close, or rotate, but the instrument itself is in the shaft of the instrument is fixed, meaning it doesn't have any wrist. With robotic surgery, all the instruments are wristed, meaning they allow seven degrees of freedom of motion. In addition, the robot has a high definition 3D camera. So when you combine a small high definition 3D camera with wristed instruments, it provides the surgeon excellent visualization and dexterity to perform the surgery. A surgeon can retract, dissect, or even suture within the abdomen through a minimally invasive approach using the robotic platform. This is particularly advantageous when treating colorectal cancer, particularly rectal cancers. Many times treating a low rectal cancer, a surgeon may find him or herself in a tight space in a pelvis with limited visualization. And it may be difficult to perform that surgery in a minimally invasive approach with traditional laparoscopy. But using a small 3D robotic camera with small advanced wristed instruments, there would be a much greater chance of success of continuing with a minimally invasive approach to perform that surgery. There are several other advantages. When I perform laparoscopic surgery, I only have two hands. I have to have an assistant hold the camera and maybe another assistant retract. With robotic surgery, I get to control the camera myself and I have three hands in order to perform the procedure. In addition, I'm not at the bedside, but instead I'm seated at a console comfortably with good ergonomics for long surgeries. This helps prevent fatigue and gives me the best visualization and control and dexterity to accomplish the surgery in a minimally invasive fashion. There are several myths or misconceptions about robotic surgery I would like to address. Some patients wonder, who's doing the surgery? Is it me or is it the robot? The robot does not have a mind of its own. It does not move any instruments or do anything without me telling it to. The robot translates my hand movements at the console into very fine movements at the instrument exactly mirroring what I do with my hands. Some patients also wonder, am I in the room when I'm doing the procedure? And the answer is yes. The surgeon console is in the operating room with the patient right next to the bedside. So I'm available to immediately scrub back in and come to the bedside should I need to do something. Some patients also wonder about if there's a malfunction or what if something breaks or goes wrong with the robot. This is extremely rare. The robot and the staff have multiple safety checks, multiple fail safes throughout in between each procedure and during the procedure to ensure that the robot's functioning as it should. 
should anything move in a way that it's not supposed to, or any error occur at all, the robot will immediately lock and no arm will move without me telling it to. Thanks for listening. Stay tuned for more educational content from Prisma Health throughout the rest of Colorectal Cancer Awareness Month. Remember, if you're 45, be sure to get your colonoscopy. And if you, a friend or family member is considering surgery for colorectal cancer or any type of abdominal surgery, be sure to ask your surgeon if robotics is a possible option for you. Thank you.